So emphysema is a um, is a chronic progressive disease, uh, regardless of whether the uh, the patient has stopped smoking or not. It unfortunately keeps getting worse. The uh, main symptom with emphysema is shortness of breath, uh, and that is definitely something that. Uh, impacts the quality of life quite significantly. Obviously you can imagine when you cannot breathe, nothing else matters. I first found out that I had emphysema probably four, four years ago, four and a half years ago. I went to my doctor and she said, you know, you know it's emphysema and if you don't give up smoking, there's no return. It just is just going to get worse. That's when the reality of it hit. The impact of COPD on the patient's life uh, is uh, variable. It can be from very mild to very, very severe. As respiratory physicians, we tend to see the more severe uh, involvement. Uh, and this is particularly in patients uh, who have increasing breathlessness uh, as the years go on. And we see quite a few patients in the early 60s who have to give up their jobs because of breathlessness. Working become more difficult. We have stairs at work and every time I had to go down those stairs I knew I had to go back up them and that was one thing I did not want to do. <laughs> Everyday things, I, you know, housework and just a walk or groceries become a labour. I'd get slight dizziness because I wasn't getting enough oxygen. Everyday life was terrible. In emphysema the the tissue part of the lung is, uh, is affected, uh, the structure is destroyed and therefore the elasticity of the lung is reduced. The elasticity of the lung is important to keep the airways open, specifically during exhalation. The volume of the chest, the volume of the lungs is, all, is, a, is a limited space and if it's um, occupied by a fair amount of trapped air obviously you won't have enough for a normal breath. And that's the reason why people with emphysema are breathless. The feeling of emphysema is um, like being a fish out of water. You virtually gasp for air. The use of valves in treatment of uh, COPD uh, is designed to allow the most damaged parts of the lungs to deflate. These valves are one-way devices that let the air out but the next breath is not going to go back into that area. And in time, it's going to get rid of the trapped air in that area and make room for the rest of the lung to be more functional. After I had the valves done in my lung, I noticed that at work, I wasn't doing that stopping and thinking about those stairs. I just did them. Before I had the valve treatment, um, if I had to walk at a pace for some reason, no, nah, that was not good. <laughs> Whereas now, I can now sweep the floor, vacuum the mats, and I'm not dreading the thought of having to do those tasks. It definitely improved my quality of life. The procedure is basically an endoscopic or a bronchoscopic procedure. It takes usually about 15 to 20 minutes and no longer than 30 minutes. I think that valve therapy is the least invasive therapy and I think it should be the uh, therapy first thought of if you're thinking about surgical options uh, for um, COPD because it's not invasive. The most important part of the process is picking the right patient. Now these valves are not going to work if the targeted area is not isolated. Obviously what we're trying to achieve is to get that trapped air out of that targeted area. If there is a back door and the air can get in from other ways, it's not going to work. So we try to make sure that uh, the targeted area is isolated. We do a CT scan to make sure that the fissures that go around each lobe, and particularly that target lobe, are intact. Before. I, I virtually was thinking I haven't got much longer to go. After, I'm, yeah, I'm planning my granddaughter's wedding and we've just had a holiday to Queensland with the family and I've walked every inch of those theme parks. I've walked every step and yeah, I just do it now. Overall, it's 100% better for me, in my case, yeah. 
We now have very good evidence in randomised control trials that show there are lasting long-term benefits uh, in uh, endoscopic lung bone reduction in patients with COPD. Not only do symptoms improve, but there's good evidence that mortality improves and survival improves, particularly in patients who have volume loss in the most affected lungs targeted by the valves. I would say everything about my life's improved. It's given me hope to be around when my grandkids get married and the special things. Well, uh, my grandkids are my being. They're my world, they're my, sorry, they're my life. Um, they're my reason for looking for some way to fix what I'd done. I didn't want to put them through the agony of losing their nan, and I certainly didn't want to lose them. Before I was hesitant, I'd be the nan that sat on the chair and watch them, whereas now, you know, I can at least get up and join in and throw the netball with the granddaughters. It's, um, yeah, made a difference in that way. I can really be part of their lives.